Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. children proclaim through every land, Hosanna to our King. Sound the trumpet into the night, the day of the Lord is near. Wake your people, lift your voice, proclaim it to the world. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad. Let all creation sing. Let children proclaim through every land, Hosanna to our King. Rise in splendor, shake off your sleep, put on your robes of joy. And in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord. Let heaven rejoice and earth be glad. Let all creation sing. Let children proclaim through every land, Hosanna to our King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, He drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself. We are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. 
He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal, and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand hand saves saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right right hand hand saves saves me, O Lord. Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You build up strength within me. Your Your right right hand hand saves saves me, me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your Your right right hand hand saves saves me, me, O Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I will send to you the Spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guard you to all the truth. Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may for their infinity proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. O Lord, O you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin, because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I am going to the Father, and you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, in the first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, we see Paul and uh, Silas uh, in Philippi, where they run into an angry crowd and uh, they're beaten with rods and then thrown into prison and staked to the floor with a big stake uh, with a cast around their leg and so on. And then an earthquake shakes the, the, jaw, the gel off to pieces and um, the doors fly open. And it's interesting, the jailer, the first thing he thinks is doing when the, the gates are open is uh, killing himself. Why would he do something like that? Well, in those days, if you were the jailer, um, especially among the Romans, but I suppose elsewhere too, if your prisoner got away um, and you never caught it, captured him again, uh, you, the jailer, or the guard, had to take his penalty or whatever. So uh, the guard immediately, uh, the jailer immediately thought it'd be best if he took his own life rather than to face perhaps the, uh, the, crime, the punishment of somebody else. So it's kind of an odd thing, but anyway, Paul right away yells and says, don't do that, stop, uh, we're all here. And then the jailer, um, takes Paul and Silas to his own home. He bathes their wounds and then he feeds them a meal and he asks them what they have to do to be saved. And um, 
Before it's all over, Paul baptizes them and they become believers. But I'm always amazed at how Paul uh, just, just does, doesn't give up. He goes to one town, he's beaten up and driven out of town. He goes to another town, he's stoned and left for dead. But he just keeps coming back uh, no matter what. Uh, he's committed to proclaiming the gospel. In 2 Corinthians, he reminds us of all that he suffered. Five times he received uh, 39 lashes under Roman law. I was considered 40 lashes would kill a person. So five times almost beaten to the bunth of that way. Stoned once and left for dead. Three times beaten with rods. Shipwrecked, etc., etc. But he just doesn't stop. And eventually he gives his life by being beheaded. Um, we can admire his courage and then realize how wimpy we are. So often afraid to even talk about our faith. Uh, Paul certainly gives an example for us. And also, as we read these passages, I think it's important for us to realize that this is the age of martyrdom, too. We here in the United States don't face anything like that, but in many countries of the world, Christians are always under attack. In Muslim countries, you always have to be in guard, uh, and anybody can accuse you of saying something against a, a Muhammad, and you can end up in prison for a long time before you even have a hearing. In other places, uh, Christians are killed. Uh, we have a number of priests from uh, one of the African countries where persecution is taking place almost every day. So we need to pray for our brothers and sisters who are under attack and be in, encouraged by their good example to proclaim our, our faith boldly. And the responsorial psalm, uh, we're told in the response that we prayed, your right hand saves me, O Lord, and then the psalmist begins, I give you thanks, O Lord, with all my heart. And all we have to do is look at the crucifix to realize what God has done for us, what Jesus has done for us, and our attitude can only be one of thanksgiving and praise. So every time we come here to celebrate the Eucharist, we need to look at the crucifix, thank Jesus for suffering that horrible death on us um, so uh, that we could be saved. Had he not done that, we would have no hope for eternal life. And then in the responsorial psalm, we're told that when Jesus goes, he sent the Holy Spirit upon us, and the Holy Spirit will guide us in all truth. The Holy Spirit acts as our, the voice of our conscience. We need to always listen to that voice. If we do, the Holy Spirit will guide us safely through life on our way to the Father. So really, in all that God has done for us, we can only continue in the spirit of thanksgiving, which is what we do every time we celebrate the Eucharistic prayer. So have that attitude in mind, especially today. Let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, you always continue to reveal your love to us in so many ways. Help us always to hear your word, inspired by the Holy Spirit, put into practice what we hear. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop George Lucas, and for all parishioners of the Archdiocese of Omaha, that we will proclaim our love to Jesus to others by what we say and do, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish family, that we will, will be successful in raising funds to build a parish center and work together to bring this project to completion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our high school seniors who are graduating, that they will always respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit and remain close to Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may come and respond know the eternal joy would ha in heaven with our Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For, oh, for young women and men, that they may discern God calling them to a life of service in the church as priests or religious. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And thanksgiving to God for the rain we have received and for an abundance of rain throughout the growing season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our unfortunate.
spoken needs and intentions, let us now pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We're asked to pray for John Yossi. He's been dealing with cancer for some time. He's been transferred to Omaha. We pray for him and his family. We pray to the Lord. We offer this Mass today for the living in the sea, so the Reef and Peitzmeyer families, we pray to the Lord. O oh God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have the spread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal Mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lead, you, to lead us to laud, us more, laud you more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought set the sacrifice of old to, the reality, to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself to be the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, 
a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to your second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by his death who will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May you make of us an eternal offering to you, O Lord, so that we may obtain the inherit an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, with St. Isidore and all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the entire people your son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summon before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to the passing from this life, give kind of witness to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're ready there, unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 568. Lift up your hearts. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts to the Lord, praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Praise the name above all names. Say to God, how wondrous your works, how glorious your name. Lift up your hearts to the Lord, praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring. Let the earth worship sing in your praise. Praise the glory of your name. Come and see the deeds of the Lord. 
Bless God's holy name. Lift up your hearts to the Lord. Praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring. Let us pray. Lord, hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring us your health in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our final hymn is number 583, Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive honor and glory. Worthy are the ones who believe, who receive the fullness of God. Worthy are you O Paschal Lamb, wisdom and strength belong now to you. You lay down your life and died upon the cross. We believe in the people of old. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive honor and glory. Worthy are the ones who believe to receive the goodness of God. Worthy are you, O bread of life, Mission and joy belong now to us by conquering death and rising to new life. We become a people of praise. Worthy is the land that was slain to receive honor and glory. Worthy are the ones who believe to receive
Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.